Greetings, YouTube. Today we're taking a look at Mechanica by Lance uh, Balkin. Uh, um, I believe it's Balkin, um, or it could be Balkin, I'm not 100% sure. Um, and this is from 2016. So, I'm going to say B-A-L-C-H-I-N, Balkin, but I could be wrong with that one. Um, and it's from Little B Books, which really makes me smile. Um, it talks about the whole concept of, uh, he's discussing here what his, his uh, kind of fusion of the mechanical and the biological. And they uh, give uh, the, you know, scientific name and, you know, Rex Draco Muse, the King Dragonfly, and it gives a, uh, a blurb as well as statistics, uh, weight, width, speed, power source, sensors, and origin. So this is 8 ounces, 5.5 inch wing widths, 50 miles per hour uh, estimated. Um, power source is a fictitious atomic unit. Uh, sensors, acoustic and sonar. And uh, origin, England and Holland. So acoustic and sonar. So it actually has no eyes. That's kind of cool. Um, then we have the uh, Papillo Factum in Sine, Sine with the Chinese butterfly. Then we have the Merlua Electrica, um, the electric blackbird, which is kind of awesome. Then we have the Mechanica Pablo, the mechanical butterfly. I really like this particular design, like that. I like just that that barrel design with the the vial inside. It just that's just very cool looking. Um, I think I picked this up at a, in a thrift shop, if I remember correctly. Um, the um, artificial eagle, if you don't have, uh, you know, have any uh, real eagles available, you can go purchase an artificial one. We have the, uh, the artificial hummingbird, and this is found in Brazil and Japan. It's a strange distribution. Uh, we have the automated bat, which is kind of a little scary looking on that one kind of skeletal rib cage thing going on there. Um, and it's a big bat. It weighs uh, 9.3 pounds. Interesting that this is using the imperial system and not metric. Um, we have the uh, uh, Angeus Artic Articulator, uh, the articulated snake. Uh, and I've actually seen some uh, really interesting real world robots that are built along the lines of, uh, of snakes, some of which use uh, pneumatics for their, uh, their, for their motion. Then we have the killer bee. Yes, indeed, that would be a killer bee, particularly since it weighs three ounces. That would be a very big bee um, in the real world. Bees don't get that big. Um, then we have the powered spider, which would scare the crap out of some people. And if my friend Amelia is watching this, I apologize. Um, you know, he doesn't like spiders. Uh, then we have the Sickle Moth, which is a really great name. <laughs> and this is a two-pound moth, so that would be dangerous. <laughs> a two-pound moth would be a very large creature. Um, then we have the Small Fly, and the Small Fly weighs two ounces. That is a huge fly. I'm currently reading the book called Superfly, which deals with flies. It's Fascinating, highly recommended. That will be coming in a video as well at some point, as soon as I get done reading it. Um, then we have the fast parrot. The fast parrot. Huh. I don't, yeah, I just I never think of parrots as being fast. How big are you? Seven and a half pounds. You are a big bird, and it, you can go at 385 miles an hour. And then we have um, the acknowledgments and the index, and then a picture of the author himself. He is a photographer who takes images of laboratory equipment and reconstruct and reconstruct this layer by layer into mechanical life forms. Lance has a diverse career from head chef um, in many of the best restaurant kitchens in Melbourne, Australia, to fashion photographer, owner of a media production company, and university lecturer. So there you go. So this has been a a very cool little book. I have not. I thought this is great. Um, gonna give it to my wife, see if she wants to take a look at it. And when we're done with it, this is probably also gonna get passed on because uh, it's a cool book, but 
let somebody else enjoy it. So I hope that you have enjoyed Maconica um, by Lance Balkin, which I think I'm saying correctly. <laughs>